It was a colorful event with the Maasai youth in traditional gear ready for the games. Gracing the event was world record holder David Rudisha, who was met with a traditional entourage and lots of excitement from the cheering crowds. <laughs> We're at the first annual Maasai Olympics and joining Ebru News now is Joy Smith, the founding sponsor of this wonderful event. What made you come up with this idea, Joy? It was actually a Maasai born idea and I was fortunate enough to be able to join Maasai Land Preservation Trust in putting this together. Rudisha inaugurated each game with his spear throw marking over 30 meters. The games saw sprints, a 5,000 meter run, a traditional rungu throwing contest and even a traditional high jump contest. Oh, really, uh, I'm very excited, you know, uh, to come here. Uh, this is the home, this is a Maasai, and this is a community that I come uh, from. And uh, to have such a, you know, competition uh, is really an honor, and I feel very much at home. The Olympics saw a huge turnout, with awards and prizes for each category. The winner of the 5,000 meter run got a full sponsorship to run the New York Marathon in 2013. Rombo, they get a little bit of revenue sharing from KWS Lava, but that's the only income they get from wildlife. But despite that, they've killed no lion and their game scouts have the best record of catching poachers. And there was also a conservation prize, including a prize bull. For this pastoral community, nothing comes bigger than that. What an amazing day it's been here, the first annual Maasai Olympics. The winners have walked away smiling, the prize bull has been handed out and no one could be happier. It's a wonderful, wonderful day for conservation and for the Maasai community here at Kimana Sanctuary. Reporting for Abra News Africa, I'm Rabia Hawa. Oh, so.